Welcome to Sneak Peek with Dance Beat. And today I am here with my amigo, <laughs> Mr. Didio Barrera. Unfortunately, the third amigo, Mr. Frank Miranda, is not here today because he's actually doing some proper work. Working. Yeah, working. Oh, concept that we're not too good with. But what we're going to do today is actually try and explain everything that you need to know about the DBDC that is held in Boston in September. Isn't that right, Didio? That's right. Um, I find that I really only want to go to events now that if I walk outside the hotel, I don't have to get a cab for 25 miles to, to do something. So um, there were no competitions at this time in downtown Boston. So I'm like, okay, why not? Let's, let's do it right in the middle of Boston. So Didio and I, obviously we, we see each other every week, more or less. And I always thought, well, this would be fun to work with this guy. So I sat down with Frank, we hammered out a deal. And uh, hey, presto, we now have Dance Beat uh, involved in the DBDC. So Didio, why, um, why did you actually agree to uh, come and work with us in Boston? Well. It was quite a fun event. And you know, these guys love to party. And it was a terrific city. I mean, everything about this city is fantastic. There's places to shop, there's places to eat, there's places to party. And uh, it's a city really that never sleep. And the history in dance and the history in the actual country it started here with the tea party and everything. And the history in dance, considering that uh, it's very English and the English had a lot to do. In fact, I studied a lot in England. And so for me to walk into a ballroom, that gave me the feeling that I'm in Blackpool or the Arbor Hall or some of these uh, places that I myself perform and that we fly miles and around the world to go to. I thought it was amazing. I thought, you know, I think we can do some in beautiful, beautiful event here. Hmm. And you had some very, very definite ideas about the way you wanted to come to feel and, and just look as well. Yes, I did, because I really think that this was a diamond. And um, we have an incredible location that if anyone ever sees a postcard and you can be transformed to Europe. I mean, so it's an incredible ballroom that needed to be lit. It needed to be wired for modern circumstances and it couldn't be ruined. You couldn't just slap everything, courts everywhere. And I'm glad we have our partner, Frank Miranda, Colombian as well, <laughs> <laughs> who does an incredible job for us, has a lot of patience with our stuff, and was able to put this together, and was able to bring this to life without destroying the look of the place, without taking away from, for, from this historical ballroom that we are privileged to use. It's actually funny that you do mention history. Um, this may be the only competition in the States that you go to where there have been where 10 or 11 US presidents have slept. And I have actually slept <laughs> where the presidents have slept. <laughs> oh yeah, Didio always gets uh, Bill Clinton's bed <laughs> when, he, <laughs> when he comes to, to the event. Yes. Um, actually, and in fact, the first time that we actually looked at the hotel, in the presidential suite, they still had the running machine that Bill Clinton had put in when he um, when he actually stayed in the hotel, so that's that's pretty cool. And I had a lot of great time sitting on this very small o o Oval Office that looks like a replica of the Oval Office. It was really fun. It was quite interesting. <laughs> oh yes, and, and a lot of people got their photographs taken in that little office as well. However, the hotel has just spent one hundred and thirty-three million dollars on a renovation, and. While we still have the presidential suite, I actually got rid of the office and just made a slightly bigger bedroom in there. Maybe they were still thinking for, about Bill. 
But one of the interesting things when we actually started the event, and this was before Diddy became involved, is that Frank, our partner, he he said that our industry does not really honor its great people. So one of the things that he brought to the event, as well as these production skills, was the Lifetime Achievement Award dinner, which we feel is pretty special and very unique within our industry. The fact that we stopped the competition for two hours, regardless of how many entries we have, and it's so important so that we can honor one of our greatest people, I find that to be just incredible. We have um, so many people that he already have awarded that were very deserving. The place is always sold out. I'm, I'm, I never thought people had so much interest in coming to honor someone, but they are. And I'm so glad that we do this and that we do it in this very uh, incredible setting that uh, you will not find anywhere else in the United States. Yeah, and the actual setting where we hold this Lifetime Achievement Award dinner, um, JFK actually gave speeches in this this room. Um, they probably weren't as good as some of the speeches of our honorees um, who have included, let me go, what's the list from the beginning? Margaret Redmond from England, first female chairwoman of Blackpool. Uh, Pat Traymore, everybody knows Pat Traymore. Okay, um, Ken Sloan, Uncle Ken. That's right. um, who else have we had? Sam Sedano. Sam Sedano. Uh, well, we don't have to say anything else about Sam Sedano. Brian McDonald. Brian McDonald. John Kimmins. Peter Eggleton. Peter Eggleton. The list goes on. And these are people that have done so much for us to make our way so that we could now have this incredible competition and to have people Incredible dancers too, like Ricardo and Julia, and Marat and Alina, dancing on this ballroom. And at the end of the day, like in the ballroom, receiving trophies that came from these people. Yeah. We, we have the Peter Eggleton Cup, that actually was Peter Eggleton's most favorite cup, who was given to him by Prince Mikasa of Japan. We awarded at the ballroom competition in this incredible ballroom. We also have Bobby Madera's most favorite medal awarded as the Latin. It's the one medal that he kept. It's the one medal that meant a lot to him. And so these are, this, is, this is historical, but at the same time, I think it's something that we're doing that is, is, is important and very special to our community. Well, I think if, if dancing as a whole is going to continue to flourish, it needs to pay more attention to its history and to its greats. Truly, nothing I can add. If you have never been to Boston, then you have to come and let us show you around, okay? The other thing is, if you keep um, checking with dancebeat.com, you will find out not only information about DBDC, but information about all of the major competitions and events that are going on in the country today. That's right. We try to keep you informed. We try to let everyone know what's happening on our very compact industry. So, from myself, Didio, and Frank, who's actually working today, cheers. cheers.